Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I'm going to do a double flip pour today on my canvas. Um, this is a canvas that I um, did not like, so I'm reusing this canvas. And I already have my pouring medium on. Now usually, I don't put a pouring medium on these flip cups, but I'm trying a different uh, thing with the 60-40 glue as um, my pouring medium on my canvas first. And I'm gonna tilt these and see what happens. And I also, today, in the mail, I finally got my Helmar silicone oil from Australia. I've been dying to try this because supposedly it's supposed to be really, really good. Okay, my colors today are uh, Moody Blue by the uh, Porridge Posse. I have my Metallic Lemon Yellow by Artist Loft. I have my Ellen's Red Shimmer by the uh, Porridge Posse. I have my Turquoise Green by Amsterdam and my Titanium White by Amsterdam. I'm going to fill two cups, so let's get started. Ooh, I probably should stir this a little bit more. Oh, so I can see it on top. So I'm going to do this and see what happens with the cells and stuff. I'm really, really curious to see what's going to happen here. I have paint all over this stupid thing. Okay. This is going to be exciting, let me tell you people. Now sometimes you pour it down the side and sometimes you pour it down the middle. Um, this one you want to do down the middle, is that what you're... Well, I'm just, I'm dumping these in because I'm... That's this fine. is going to be the flip. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter how these blend. Okay. Because I have a double cup, so... This ought to be interesting. Ah, I better put a little white in between that too. Because some of these are thicker than the other. I love to see how um, these turn out because a lot of times you put them in the same way and they're totally totally different with um, how they come out. So it should be, should be interesting to see. And you don't want to have too big of a cup because that way your um, your paint doesn't have very far to go down to the rim of the glass. So it doesn't mix, as, mix enough, maybe? Right. Now we're going to see what happens. Ah. Okay. Jeez. Well, we're just going to do this. One on each, like... Do it up here. Yeah, right up, up there, sort of. Yeah. 
Cells. Cells galore. Alrighty. Thinking I might like my Helmer. <laughs> my dad's name was Elmer. This is Helmer. <laughs> oh boy. The fun we have, right? That's not falling off, is it? Uh, slightly. Not, not, not too no, much? No. Okay. Oh, people, people, people. I'm telling you. Okay, so. Here we go. Cup oh, art. Cup art. A double cup art there. All right. Okay, we gotta let this sit so the cells can come up. Because uh, yep. yeah. I'm always in such a hurry and I have to, I get so excited, I gotta just let it sit for a tad. So more cells can develop. Got a lot of different colors all over the canvas, which is nice. See, we're not gonna have to tip too much. No, Which it's, will be it's nice. covered most of the canvas, so we shouldn't stretch out the cells or wreck, wreck the composition too much. I think you just have to go down to that one corner a little bit. You think you should want to add a little... Oh, I, oh. I can't leave this much paint on it. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to stretch it a little. I'm going to help it go off the edge, though. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's going to be stuck. Ah. I think that could be yeah, There we go. Oh, I'm starting to whisper again. Wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. It's still quite interesting how each half is different in coloration and cell formation, and you've basically made the cups the same way. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to take a while to dry. There's a lot. There is a lot of paint on there. Well, it'll but take you, a while you, to dry. Yeah, we get some off the bottom edge. I want to get that over there. Okay. This is really, really pretty. I do like me Helmer. Elmer and I are going to get along really, really well. I'm going to torch this and see what I get. I got to do this first. There's no paint on this corner. And there's no. Uh Paint on this whole edge over here. Yeah, I got to do that after. Where on that whole thing? Yeah, that whole the, yeah that whole edge is. I mean, you, you might not even want to tip it to get it over. You might just want to use some of the excess paint. Yeah. That, that's dripped off to uh, cover that because you don't want to ruin your composition just to get the edge done. I got to get some of this paint off because okay. there's too much. Is it flowing off that edge now? Um, it is in some in, in some places. So I have to help it. 
Yes. That's what you need to tell me. You need to help it, Kath. There's a big spot right, right there. That's cool. This is really pretty. Yeah, okay. You're gonna torch it? And yeah. That's really, pr I, I really like this one. Yeah, I think when that dries and, and is varnished, it's going to be very striking. I think I might uh, resin this. A resin? Okay. Yeah. Even, even better. It, it's really, really very, very pretty. I'm very pleased with this. I love this, um, the cell stuff. So, comment. Leave me a comment. Um, subscribe to my channel. And... I'll tell you the new products that I get and if I like them and if I don't like them. And um, like I said, it's from Australia. So if you want cells like this, this Helmer is where it's at. So until the next time, bye.